pondered about the most spine-chilling ancient cities, well, you're in for a treat. Picture this. Age-old structures echoing with whispers of a bygone era, their secrets locked within crumbling walls. These are not just ordinary cities, but remnants of civilizations that have witnessed the best and worst of humanity. They are shrouded in mystery, their tales often more terrifying than any fictional horror story. Why is it that we're so drawn to these places, you ask? Perhaps it's the allure of the unknown, the thrill of unearthing secrets that have been buried for centuries. Or maybe it's the bone-chilling fascination of walking through places that have been witness to unimaginable terror. We're about to take you on a journey, a thrilling ride through history. We will venture into the heart of 10 of the most terrifying ancient cities that have stood the test of time. So buckle up, history enthusiasts and thrill seekers. Are you ready to embark on this thrilling ride through history? First on our list is the city frozen in time, Pompeii. Nestled at the foot of Mount Vesuvius in the heart of Italy, Pompeii was once a bustling city, brimming with life and echoing with the laughter of its inhabitants. But in a single day, all of that changed. In the late summer of 79 AD, Mount Vesuvius erupted, spewing a deadly cloud of ash and pumice. Pompeii was buried under a thick layer of volcanic debris, its people trapped in their final moments. The city lay forgotten for over a thousand years until rediscovered, astonishingly preserved under the hardened ash. The streets, buildings, and even the expressions of its people were frozen in time, providing a chilling snapshot of life frozen in its tracks. It's like a ghost city, where one can still hear echoes of laughter, whispers of life, and the quiet sobbing of a city lost in time. A city preserved in ash, Pompeii serves as a chilling reminder of nature's wrath. Next, we venture to the heart of Mexico, to the city of Chichen Itza. Once a thriving hub of the ancient Mayan civilization, Chichen Itza now stands as a silent testament to a bygone era. Its towering pyramids and grand temples echo tales of a vibrant culture, but also of a darker side. Human sacrifices were a common practice here, as the Mayans believed in appeasing their gods through the offering of a human life. Many unfortunate souls met their end atop the imposing pyramid of Kukulkan, their hearts offered to the gods in a chilling ritual. But the terror doesn't end there. A legend persists of a curse that haunts this ancient city. It whispers of vengeful spirits of the sacrificed, trapped between the mortal world and the divine, seeking retribution for their untimely demise. Visitors often report eerie sensations, as if unseen eyes are watching them. Chichen Itza, a city of beauty, blood, and a haunting curse. Now, we descend into the depths of Paris, into the catacombs. This isn't your usual city tour. It's a journey into the city's underworld, a place where history takes a darker, more chilling turn. The catacombs of Paris, a labyrinth extending over 200 miles, were born in the late 18th century. In a bid to tackle the city's overflowing cemeteries, officials decided to put the abandoned stone quarries to use. Over the course of several decades, the bones of millions were exhumed and meticulously arranged within these subterranean chambers. As we delve into this eerie underworld, we're surrounded by the remains of six million souls, their silent stares a stark reminder of our shared mortality. The air is thick with a quiet unease, as if the very walls are whispering tales from the past. Every step echoes through the stillness, a reminder of the living in a world of the dead. The Paris catacombs, a city beneath a city, filled with the silent whispers of the dead. We travel now to Cambodia, to the haunting ruins of Angkor Wat. This mammoth stone city, once the heart of the Khmer Empire, stands as a testament to human ambition and architectural prowess. In its prime, Angkor Wat was a thriving metropolis, a hub of art, religion, and culture, Yet, for reasons still shrouded in mystery, it was abandoned and left to the mercy of the encroaching jungle. Over centuries, the relentless tendrils of nature reclaimed this once bustling city. The colossal stone structures, once signs of prosperity, now lie silent and desolate, their intricate carvings fading under the relentless sun. The once crowded streets and corridors echo with an eerie silence, broken only by the distant call of jungle creatures. The city that once teemed with life now stands as an eerie monument to a civilization lost in time. 
Angkor Wat, a city claimed by the jungle, echoes with the haunting whispers of the past. Next, we journey to the ghost city of Chernobyl. In the heart of Ukraine, Chernobyl was once a bustling city, full of life and promise. But in the spring of 1986, disaster struck. An explosion at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant spewed radioactive material across the city and far beyond, forcing a hasty and desperate evacuation. Imagine, if you will, the terror of that day. The confusion, the panic, the fear. In a matter of hours, Chernobyl was transformed from a vibrant city to a desolate wasteland. Today, it remains eerily abandoned, a ghost city echoing with the silent screams of its past. Buildings, homes, schools, all left untouched since that fateful day. Toys lie discarded, classrooms remain set for lessons that will never be taught, and the Ferris wheel in the amusement park stands as a stark, rusting symbol of joy that was never realized. Chernobyl, a city where time stands still, a chilling testament to human error. Now, we venture to the blood-soaked city of Vlad the Impaler. Picture a realm under the rule of a man known for his unparalleled cruelty, a man whose very name sends shivers down the spine. That man was Vlad III, the ruler of Wallachia in the 15th century, better known as Vlad the Impaler. His reign, marked by a reign of terror and bloodshed, earned him a place in the annals of history as one of the most ruthless leaders the world has ever known. The city of Targovist, the royal capital of Wallachia, bore witness to the horrors of Vlad's rule. Here, he earned his gruesome moniker. It's said that he had a fondness for impaling his enemies on long, sharp stakes, leaving them to die a slow and agonizing death. The city's streets ran red with the blood of his victims, earning it the chilling epithet of the blood-soaked city. Targoviste, a city that witnessed the horrors of a ruthless ruler, forever stained by blood. Finally, we arrive at our last stop, the City of the Dead. Nestled in the heart of Cairo, Egypt, this city isn't just a metaphorical name, it's a place where the living and the deceased share the same zip code. To the uninitiated, it might seem like an ordinary city, but look closer, and you'll see that its inhabitants reside among the graves. These aren't just any graves either. They're ancient tombs dating back centuries, and they're home to more than just memories. Each tomb tells a story, a history etched in time, a chilling reminder of the city's past. The city's residents go about their lives, seemingly unperturbed by their unusual neighbors. The air is thick with a sense of eerie calm and morbid fascination. It's a city that exists in a delicate balance between life and death, a balance that its residents have come to accept as normal. The city of the dead, a city where the living and the dead coexist. A chilling end to our journey. And that concludes our spine-chilling journey through history. We've traversed the fallen city of Pompeii, a place frozen in time by the wrath of Mount Vesuvius. We've dared to explore the cursed city of Chichen Itza, where echoes of ancient rituals still linger. Our path led us through the bone-chilling catacombs of Paris, a dark underworld of secrets beneath the City of Light. We've stood amidst the haunting ruins of Angkor Wat, once a bustling city, now a whisper of its former glory. We've ventured into the ghost city of Chernobyl, testament to mankind's hubris and the devastating power of nature. We've walked the blood-soaked streets of the city of Vlad the Impaler, where tales of terror still send shivers down the spine. And finally, we've braved the City of the Dead, a place where the line between life and death is eerily blurred. Remember, the past is never truly gone, it simply waits to be rediscovered. Until our next journey, stay curious.